Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at a very unusual U.S. experimental round developed uh, right before World War II and through World War II, and that was the U.S. T-1760 caliber. Now, everyone's familiar, of course, with the 50 cal, and here we have a couple of belted 50 caliber World War II rounds. And this is still obviously in use today in all kinds of weapons and the M2, uh, various anti-material and sniper weapons, civilian market, all kinds of good stuff. So these are your 50 cals, which everyone knows. But the 60 cal was a development by the US Army originally in 1939. They were calling for an anti-tank rifle, sort of to match the British boys or the various German and uh, Soviet ones at that time. And so they thought, oh, let's make a 60 caliber. You know, we'll see. But but quickly, I think everyone sort of realized that that uh, anti-tank rifles were a thing of the past. I mean, they were obsolescent by the time World War II even started and obsolete pretty darn quick once the, the Blitzkrieg started. Um, really the only people who sort of stuck with them all through the war were the Soviets and of all the people that did they had some of the best but anyway the US uh, military decided hey this anti-tank rifle is not gonna happen let's see what we can do in terms of a machine gun so they made a machine gun that would fire these and they called it the T-17 there are various uh, iterations of it you'll see them uh, illustrated even in rotary ones, belt fed ones, single barrel, all kinds of different things, all kinds of different mountings, only a few hundred were ever produced as far as I'm aware. But again, about 6 million rounds of 60 caliber were, were made and about 1 million were expended in testing between about 1942, 43 and the early 50s. Uh, these four that you're looking at right here are all these three are actually World War II dated. This one's going to be, oh, let's take a look here. That is an SL-43. That stands for Salt Lake, 1943. Or actually, 44. I can't even read it. So, 1944. This one's actually a live round. And that is going to be SL-44 as well. So, Salt Lake. And moving on, we have, this one was a dummy round from the beginning, so it's got your, your holes in it, and it was never primed. This is an SL, our camera will focus, SL45. And then this is a spent round, and you're going to be looking at an FA48. So that's Frankfurt Arsenal 1948 production. So... Pretty quick, the US military was like, you know, we're not going to do anything with these. Uh, it's more of a paper exercise to, to just see the capabilities of the rounds. The Germans were doing the same thing with the MG 151 at the time, which was a 15 millimeter Luftwaffe cannon. And they decided, hey, let's go with the 20 millimeter. And the 20 millimeter German uh, was much more prevalent during the war and after the war indeed too and the u.s military kind of went the same way and they went to the current u.s 20 millimeter right here which you'll see used on u.s warplanes the navy uses a variant of it and this is just a pretty standard u.s caliber so by the 1950s they decided hey 20 millimeters the good one to go with and the 60 caliber just became kind of a collector's item. You can still find the rounds in cartridge collections and whatnot, but it's definitely an unusual one that you're not going to see a lot of anymore. So thought we'd share that with you and just let you kind of take a look at a, a round that you may not come across easily, or if you do come across it, it will uh, hopefully tell you what you might be looking at. Thanks for watching, and we'll be posting more shortly.